My name is Richard Green. I'm a naturalized American citizen who grew up in the UK and I've lived in upstate New York for the past 20 years. Like many people, I'm increasingly concerned about the way we are presented with information by those in positions of authority, particularly political representatives, government officials, and the media. I'm gonna spend the next few minutes using a couple of scenarios to illustrate some of my concerns. The well-known book, How to Lie with Statistics, which was written in 1954 by Daryl Huff, should really have been called How to Intentionally Mislead People by Presenting Statistical and Numerical Information with Insufficient Context. Now, of course, that's not so catchy, and the book probably would not have sold as many copies had it been called that. In the COVID area, we're seeing many examples of this phenomenon, the phenomenon described in the book. Over the course of a three day period last week here in New York, as an example, COVID positive test results, also known as cases, rose by 25%. This phenomenon had happened many times, of course. This was not a lie, this was a statistical fact. But what was missing from many of the reports about this increase was that during that same three day period, the number of tests that were conducted increased by 37%. In other words, important context was missing. The significance of this context is illustrated by the fact that the proportion of people testing positive actually fell. In other words, when we take into account the context, in this case, the relationship between those two data points, the number of cases and the number of tests, we see a decrease, not an increase. The degree to which there was a proportionate decrease is also illustrative of a slightly different phenomenon. In absolute terms, the decrease was a decrease of 0.29%. But in relative terms, it was 9%. So what appeared to be a 25% increase, it was a 25% increase, when contextualized, was actually a 9% decrease. Which begs the question, which one of these facts would you choose to emphasize? This same phenomenon of omitting information that provides context can obviously be applied to non-numerical situations as well. So for example, it can sound pretty innocuous to say, I just got the Pfizer shot. But what happens when we add selected facts to provide additional context. I got the experimental irreversible medical treatment developed by a company that has a history of committing felonies and being forced to pay billions of dollars in criminal fines and civil damages. It sounds rather different, doesn't it? Both statements are factual, both statements are true, but again, which one would you choose to emphasize? 